Hey guys, I'm here with another video today, and... Oh, you know what? Fuck it. An YouTube condones animal abuse. Fuck it. I'm... No more introduction. No more playing it nice. No more beating around the fucking bush here, and... You know, all that regular YouTuber bullshit you expect to hear. No, fuck it. YouTube condones animal abuse. And, quite frankly, I'm sick to fucking death of this fucking website. Can someone please fucking... You know, fucking get the, get the alternatives, you know, in their fucking shape... You know, get those get those motherfuckers to actually become a viable fucking solution to the YouTube problem. Cause I'm not even gonna mince words here. I'm fucking pissed. I am actually fucking pissed. I've I've had like this dark, like brooding hate in my gut ever since I heard about what fucking happened today. And what fucking happened today? Well, I'll fucking tell you. I'm gonna be swearing a lot because this shit is. This shit is shit I do not like to play with. You know, fucking fucks like what I'm going to talk about get under my skin and actually fuck with me because I, I don't like hearing about this shit. I don't like knowing about this shit. I don't like knowing what fucking happened. So YouTube ended up getting its fucking cock stuck in the lamp post again. I don't even give a fuck if that analogy makes any goddamn sense. YouTube got caught doing something really fucking stupid all over again. One, Monkey Jones found out that his videos not only didn't get taken down by bots, a fucking YouTube employee flagged it and is upholding them. As in, his channel's not coming back because a actual human being at YouTube got pissy and doesn't want to give him his fucking channel back. Now, why does this make me so fucking angry? Because the Monkey Jones issue has been, you know, it's been going on for a few days at this point. It's... I, it's fucking old news. I mean, who gives a fuck anymore? The dude's making his own website and going to Twitch. He's doing his own shit. Well, the reason I'm fucking mad, the reason I'm actually fucking mad, is because of what got exposed today with YouTube. And this shit is not even cute. It's not even funny. There is a fucking psychotic little bitch fuck in Chile that uploaded a video of him beating his cat to death, stomping the poor thing to death. Like, it, it's, it's fucking real. It's not an you know, exaggerated joke where he's stomping on a cat doll or including sound effects with something that's very obviously not a real animal. This little fuck killed a real animal on camera for YouTube. He did it. He fucking did it. Now, why does that make me angry? Because... His channel and his video are still up. You can still watch them all. He's still gaining subscribers. All that shit is still up and running. He's A.O. fucking K. A.O. totes okay. Bots didn't take down an actual video of a dude beating an animal to death. They didn't care about that. YouTube employees didn't care about that. They gave a fuck about a dude making exaggerated jokes about Elliot Roger. Okay, they took down the kill stream for making nigger jokes. They took down all these fucking videos. Like, I, YouTube came out and said, oh yeah, we took down like 58 million videos that violate our terms of service. Not the little scum fuck in Chile that beat an animal to death. That's A-OK -okay by your fucking standards. That's A-O fucking K. And this is not the first time YouTube's gotten in trouble for hosting content that uh, morally fucking questionable. No. Everyone remembers those creepy as fuck Elsa Spider-Man child porn videos that were... Making their waves, uh, I think it was last year. It, it, it's been a bit. You know, it was Elsagate, that whole fucking thing. And that basically kicked the new wave of demonetization and all that shit. And YouTube swept that problem under the fucking rug as soon as they got exposed. And here it is again. Here it is again. It's the same shit, just now it's violence. Instead of sex, it's violence. And... The funny thing is, I know exactly how this shit's going to turn out. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. They're going to delete this kid's channel, then make it an excuse to go after even more fucking people. Because YouTube is a fucking scumfuck organization. It is a scumfuck website. Anyone that works at YouTube, I'm sorry if you heard that. I tapped my fucking microphone. I'm too fucking angry to actually edit anything together properly. I'm, I'm running off pure rage and you know, fucking adrenaline at this point, because I'm actually fucking mad at this. Anyone that works at YouTube and is okay with how they do business there, you're a fucking idiot. You are a fucking idiot. 
Because shit like this is flying under your fucking radar. And I don't care about any dumbass excuse they want of, oh, but a million, a million hours of YouTube is uploaded every fucking second. Yeah, and that's why you program bots to go after, you know, famous people that just so happen to talk about things you don't want to talk about. You know? Oh, no, no. Totally not a coincidence that uh, Alex Jones gets thrown off for questioning Sandy Hook. Yeah, you know, that that mass shooting that's like years old at this point, yet everyone acts like if you make jokes about it or question it, you're the worst human being on the planet. You know, that whole thing. But no, a kid can fucking beat a cat to death, and that's A-OK. -okay. You know? Yeah, no, no, that's okay. Beat all animals to death. Yeah, who gives a fuck? But don't you dare question a mass shooting. Don't you dare tell an edgy joke. Don't you dare make fun of a mass shooter. You know? Don't do any of that. And this fucking moralistic selective outrage bullshit it has got to end. It has actually got to end. Because this is getting to a point now where it's fucking ridiculous. It's actually fucking ridiculous. We have reached a point now where scum fucks like this little 15-year-old micro-cocked bitch can do shit like this and get away scot-free. People have outright stated they've reported that channel numerous times. People have reported him numerous times. There are rumors that he's gotten thousands of flags and he hasn't been touched. Not once has he been fucking touched. Why? Why? Why is he exempt? He's actually committing violence. He's actually committing a fucking crime. And when you bring it up to Team YouTube, like on Twitter, they'll say, Oh, we'll look into it. Fuck you, you'll look into it. Fuck you. We know what you people are. You're fucking bots. You're fucking NPC bot motherfuckers that just puke out fucking generic messages to get people to leave you the fuck alone. Well, guess what, motherfucker? This is what happens when you leave people alone. When you just refuse to do your job. You filter out all the rational people and leave the lunatics because they just fly under your radar because you're too busy getting rid of people that say nigger. Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you. Fuck this shit. All you've done is make people go from treating YouTube as the number one fucking site in the world. Everyone used YouTube for the longest fucking time. Everyone loved it. When they introduced the apps like on consoles or smart TVs, everyone was fucking hyped. Then all the bullshit started. They started taking shit down with content ID. They started taking shit down with the demonetization crap. They started doing all this bullshit. They started trying to clean up their fucking site. And it's fucking stupid. All you're doing is paving the way for your own destruction. Because here, here's the cycle with websites. Here's the cycle I've noticed with websites over and over and over again. They start off as very edgy, very punk rock, very fuck the establishment motherfucker type dudes. They want to you know, actually be fun and let you do what you want. Twitter was advertised as a free speech platform when it came out. Facebook was started by a fucking, you know, t three dudes in college. Of course, Mark Zuckerberg stole that fucking website, but, you know, who gives a shit about that detail? The point is, they start off as places where people can actually go and be themselves. Then they get big. They get big and they start thinking they have to sanitize. They have to start jerking off the corporate advertisers. They gotta start sucking the dicks of the exact people their audience wants to run the fuck away from. And what happens? They go to shit. They fall to pieces. They burn to ashes. And the next one pops up and it all starts all over again. Don't believe me? Look at fucking Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is the number one fucking example right now. Out of all websites, even fucking YouTube, Crunchyroll is the number one example of what I'm talking about. Crunchyroll started off as a fucking pirate site. They started off as a site you could illegally download anime. You didn't have to deal with premium memberships or advertisements or any of this fucking bullshit they got now. Now look at it. It's a fucking hollow-ass shill filled with fucking hipsters that think they can control shit from the inside. That's what happens when these places get big. And now Kiss Anime is fucking murdering it. Kiss Anime is a fucking Russian pirate site that doesn't give a fuck. All it wants to do is install fucking bit miners and... You know, Bitcoin fucking generator, whatever the fuck the term is, to your computer. Then you can watch any fucking anime you want. That's what we've gotten to now. That fucking cycle for Crunchyroll is ending. And now a new one started up. And with YouTube, it's trying its best to kill alternatives. They have their fucking lackeys in the media, their fucking mafioso capo acting ass motherfuckers like Jared Holt or any of those dumb niggas like that. Trying to do shit like... 
you know, eliminate payment processors from websites because they're dealing with people they don't like. Payment processors. How does that not fucking scare the shit out of anybody looking at it? And I genuinely mean that. All these fake-ass shill motherfuckers like Philip DeFranco or fucking Boogie2988, the fucking fence-riding motherfuckers that do shit like... You know, they try to act all neutral and central, but when shit comes out like this, they wait till they hear everyone else's opinion, then they form their own. Okay? That's what they fucking do. They should have been scared shitless when Alex Jones got depersoned. They should have. Because it was a sign that they can make up any fucking excuse they want to get rid of you. The minute you're inconvenient. But no, what they do, they say, oh, well, I totally understand why he got thrown off, but I still think it's fucked up. They're still trying to jerk that master off while pretending to be a rebel. Fuck you, you motherfuckers. Fuck you, you hollow-ass pieces of shit. People like you let this shit happen. We're an actual potential serial killer. Because guess what? Hurting animals and killing pets is the number one sign you're going to become a serial killer. And this lunatic in Chile already has a manhunt after him because of the fucking shit he did. That's the shit you allowed. You fucking throw Monkey under the bus. You fucking leave him to die because he's a little bit edgy. You say, well, you know, maybe YouTube had a point or some dumb shit like that. You pretend to be all outraged when he's thrown out, but you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. And guy who did nothing got fucked over while a lunatic like this fucking kid is allowed to get away with this shit scot-free. All of his comments, all of this fucking lunatic's comments are people doxing him and trying to get people to report him to the fucking police. That's all of his comments. Either that or people asking, why the fuck is this on YouTube? That's the point it's gotten to. This little psychotic spurg murdered a fucking cat on camera for a YouTube video. YouTube fucking allowed it. This is worse than the Logan Paul dead body thing. It actually is. Now that shit was fucking stupid because, once again, that was YouTube playing favorites with their wannabe number one. They're trying to throw out PewDiePie because PewDiePie is actually trying to be edgy and fun. No. No, you know what they did instead? You know what they did instead? They're trying to push Logan Paul to be the number one now. He's getting all the shit in YouTube Red. He's, you know, he's getting all the treatment and the special fucking bullshit. And that case where he was in Japan and saw the dead body, that was a clear example of YouTube basically saying fuck you to everybody else because any other channel that uploaded shit like that would have gotten taken down in a day. Logan Paul got to get, got to get away with it. No, but this little psychotic fuck who is barely known Barely known. No one knew who this motherfucker was two weeks ago. No one knew who he was. He was only uploading shit in Chile. Out of nowhere, he got to get away from everything. All the bots, all the flags, everything. Why? Why? And shit like this is fucking inexcusable. There is no excuse from this. Anyone, anyone in charge of the flagging department or whatever, whatever fucking customer service fucking thing in YouTube. Whatever handles all that shit needs to be fired. That fucking bitch, Susan Wojcicki, Wojcicki, whatever her fucking Polish-ass last name is, needs to be fired. She is running this company into the dirt. She is killing it. And all this bullshit of private company, they can do what they want. No private company can abuse animals on camera and get away with it. No company can do that. That's a crime, no matter where you are. And that bullshit excuse is doing nothing but killing any chance of actually fixing this shit. That fucking dumbass excuse of private business, do what you want, should not apply to tech monopolies. Because genuinely try to make a career anywhere else. Sure, you can do your own website. That worked, you know, early 2000s before YouTube was established. Sure, you can go on BitChute or VidMe, but good luck trying to find the majority audience. Everyone's on YouTube. And they want to act like they're this safe harbor shit while selectively picking who gets to stay there. Fuck YouTube. This double standard bullshit has got to end. This is not inviting people into a platform. This is scaring the shit out of them. YouTube is going to run out of people willing to do this. They're going to run out of people willing to put up with their bullshit very quickly. Patreon learned that the hard way. People are exiting Patreon and going anywhere else. Sure, Subscribestar is going to die because they're also trying to push the shit Patreon was doing, but being up front and out the gate of it, so no one wants to deal with that. These idiots don't realize they don't want to deal with this censorous bullshit. 
It is just natural human reaction to not want some dude's boot up your ass. It is completely natural to want to say fuck you to the big people in charge. Say fuck you to the suits. Say fuck you to the church looking ass motherfucker Puritans that want to ruin your day because you said something they didn't like. Fuck you. Fuck you. And this doesn't even come down to a political thing. Mumkey was never political. He made a few jokes about Trump, I think, at best. It's been a while since I saw his videos. I can't exactly remind myself because they're all fucking dead. But really, even if that was the case, you're going to go after people for politics. You're going to act like a complete psychotic lunatic and allow shit like fucking child porn and animal abuse on your website. But you're going to go after Republicans instead. Yeah, fuck you. Now we know what your priorities are, fuckface. And no excuses are going to make up for that. You're a fucking lunatic spurg that thinks that shit's more important. The rise of fascism through fucking anime reviews like with ER has more of a fucking priority than the lunatic murdering animals and using your website to advertise it. Yeah, fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you, any moralistic cunts that bitch about fucking PewDiePie videos or bitch about fucking ER videos. You ignore shit like that on a daily basis. You cunts are not good guys. You cunts are killing any chance of anyone actually trying to rise up and do something different. Because you fucks want to stay control. Fuck you.